Yes, and it's really only the very early stages of the this next stage of the coronavirus pandemic. And we have yet to see exactly what impact the Omicron variant will have on, uh, on public opinion. But what we have seen so far uh, in the polling that's been released is that the public basically has not changed its position since the beginning of the uh, of the crisis uh, nearly 18 months ago and that was specifically an erring on the side of caution so throughout the pandemic the general public generally speaking have erred on the erred on the side of caution when it comes to restrictions rules and so on and so forth and that seems to have been repeated now with the most recent polling we've seen uh, polls that show around 3 quarters of people support in principle the return of the wearing of masks rule in order to deal with this new uh, new variant. Now, of course, some people watching at home may say, "Oh well, but hang on, I don't. I, when I get on the uh, when I get on the train or when I go in the shops, people haven't uh, been wearing masks." And that's true. It also uh, polls also show that only around half of people say that they wear their masks every time they go into shops. But I do expect that that will uh, that will change over the next few uh, uh, few days and indeed weeks as this situation develops. Interesting, isn't it, uh, Joe, that when you listen, you know, to some of the and commentators who get very animated about things like wearing masks and also other restrictions, they don't seem to be in line with the vast majority of public opinion. I mean, is it just you're, you've got well, your political hat on here? Is it just an ideological uh, argument that they're trying to make? Or, or do they generally think that actually lots more people are on their side that are just not being listened to? Uh, I think it depends on person to person. There are some people within politics who always take the contrarian position. There are some people who are anti-science. There are some people who are anti-vaccination, for instance. Uh, and uh, and so they will never be, uh, or rather it would be very uh, strange to see them coming over so quickly. Uh, and it would be unlikely they would change their mind in the longer term either. Uh, but I think for a lot of people, they believe that they are representing uh, the minority of people who believe that these restrictions should not be in place. Now, there are only a few of them in percentage terms. We're talking around about sort of 20 to 25 percent. But of course, that's millions and millions of people up and down the country. And though they are a minority, they do on occasions uh, make quite a lot of noise. And it is possible to confuse noise with volume, which is what may be happening from some of the uh, some of the MPs. But I think with many of them, it is a genuine, uh, shall we say, willingness to uh, to support the uh, to support the minority in this case. And Joe, fascinating, isn't it? That uh, I was talking to a Conservative commentator yesterday who was suggesting, you know, Boris Johnson's not had a great couple of weeks, even in the polls, and that if he has to impose further restrictions, maybe even cancel Christmas again. Now the government says we're a very long way off from that. It's still very unlikely. But if he has to do that, actually, the public will not be uh, very happy. And almost that understanding, that bump in support he's had this year with the vaccine rollout and easing restrictions would very easily dissipate. Quite dangerous times in some ways for the prime minister. Yes, absolutely. And you only have to look at the long term trends of polling throughout the uh, throughout the pandemic to see how closely government support and indeed Boris Johnson's own personal support has correlated very closely with the perception of whether the government is doing well or badly when it comes to dealing with the pandemic. Now, this time last year, Labour were actually ahead in some of the polls. As we approached the Christmas that was cancelled, as, uh, uh, as restrictions were reimposed and questions were raised once again about the government's handling. And could we be in that situation again this year? Well, I'm sure the government will do everything they can to avoid it. But certainly the goodwill that they received from the vaccine program, which has really been uh, really been bolstering their polling position now for many many months, could well be lost if the situation deteriorates once again, and if Christmas needs to be cancelled for a second year in a row, that could have real implications for the government. To cancel Christmas once is unfortunate. To cancel Christmas twice could be seen as carelessness.